Hallmark Veterinary Imaging was founded just over 10 years ago now, um, and it was founded to bring the unique idea of standing MRI to the equine veterinary community. And it, we remain the only company in the world that can offer standing equine MRI. And MRI itself has now become very established as a core modality for diagnosing lame horses. Uh, any horse that, that has an undiagnosed lameness, the, the vet's been unable to get to the root of the problem using more conventional routines like uh, nerve blocking and radiography. And, and that can apply to any type of horse. It could be a pleasure horse that's used for hacking around the lanes that's been lame and not responded. It could be a sport horse. They get a lot of foot problems and they're particularly responsive to MRI examination. Or, or racehorses who tend to get problems more related to fetlock joints, but MRI is very useful for that. So, so in summary, it's, it's any kind of horse, from the pleasure horse to the racehorse, but one where the cause of the lameness has not been accurately diagnosed. It's really revolutionised the diagnosis of many forms of lameness, uh, especially lameness in the front feet, which is one of the commonest places where horses get lame. Uh, but also lamenesses in other parts of the limbs. Um, but it's really opened up another way of diagnosing conditions that previously we were, we were totally unable to diagnose. The scan process is straightforward. First, the horse is given a mild sedative to help it remain still during the scan. It is then positioned in the scanner with the injured limb carefully aligned to allow the most appropriate images to be captured. The horse stays still, usually for between an hour and an hour and a half. The screen shows the scan in real time, ensuring that good quality images have been captured. After the scan, the horse is walked back to its stable to recover from the sedative before being picked up by the owner. The images are sent to an interpreter who will examine them before arriving at an accurate diagnosis. Installing and operating a standing equine MRI unit involves a significant investment, but there are many specialist centres offering scanning to referring vets. We don't have our own MRI scanner because we are not a specialist practice and you can only justify having one of those very sophisticated machines if you have got the case throughput. And so we're very lucky to have on our own doorstep here uh, an excellent referral practice, namely Bell Equine Veterinary Clinic. And when we need to have a case diagnosed by MRI, they happily accept those cases and provide us with a very good and comprehensive report. And then we can take the case back and carry on advising our client. It works extremely well. The referring vets benefit in exactly the same way as we do, so when they're evaluating cases in their, in their practice that they can't get a, a diagnosis using the more traditional methods of nerve blocks, x-rays and so on, um, and the lameness is coming from the lower limb, distal limb, then they would consider MRI, which again will hopefully give them a specific diagnosis on which they can then produce a treatment plan and, and a prognosis for the owner. In the early days of uh, MRI scanning, I personally had doubts about referring cases and it was down to my excellent colleague Peter Brown who uh, insisted that we should follow this and, um, and we did and he was absolutely right. It is not an issue. We have a good relationship with our clients if they value our judgment, um, which I'm glad to say they do in practically all cases, then it works absolutely fine and we, I can't think of a single case where we have actually lost a valued client.